on those liberal district attorneys, especially in Los Angeles. The man you see there now is being held without bail, and that's in Baltimore on rape charges after a two-week crime rampage in New York City where he was arrested and released multiple times. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is one of the progressives pushing lax bail laws as violent crime is spiking across his city. Meanwhile, a recall effort is underway against that other district attorney from L.A. that I mentioned, George Cascone. Two police officers there in El Monte, Joseph Santana and Michael Paredes, were shot and killed responding to a 911 call last week. Officer Joseph Santana's mom here. The criminal that shot and killed my son and Michael should have been locked up. They both would have been here today. Now we're just here it's to mourn their loss and just suffer. Gus Bull needs to be recalled immediately. He's left children without fathers. <sighs> Mothers destroyed, wives destroyed, and they're never coming back. <laughs> they're never coming back. <laughs> and I blame it all on Gascon. George Gascon, they have enough signatures now to recall him, to kick him out. Jason Rance, KTTH, Seattle radio talk show host. Jason. Your top line thoughts. I, I fear that we're going to be in for a summer of historic violence. There's this possibility of course correction coming. We obviously saw it with Chesa Boudin being recalled in San Francisco. Hopefully George Gascon is next. Maybe you get an impeachment of Larry Krasner out in Philadelphia. But until Alvin that Bragg course here correction, in New York. Alvin Bragg, until we get that course correction, there's going to continue to be needless violence. And it's going to take a long time to undo the damage that's already been done because you have to get rid of policy. You have to change laws in some cases. And simply getting rid of a DA doesn't necessarily do that. We cannot be surprised when criminals take advantage of policies that do not punish them. This is happening over and over and over again. People are dying and you hear relative silence coming from the left other than, oh, no, it's not our problem. We didn't cause this. Yes, you did. Uh, you're pointing out something that's really valuable to know. So you can kick out these DAs, and that, that's the first step. But there's their city councils. There's so much behind it. Well, there are laws. Take just for an example here in Washington state. Democrats in the Capitol passed a series of bills that now prohibit, for example, vehicular pursuits almost entirely. So let's say you get rid of all the Democrats you have in Olympia. Well, now you've got to replace them with the Republicans who are then going to promote policies that undo the bills that have already been passed. And that's a small example. And this is wow. happening in California, New York, all across the country. You know, I have to point out the relative who was sitting next to uh, the, the officer's mom there. That was his dad. And during the interview, as you watch it, he pipes up and says, Gascon's office, no one's even called us. They don't care. They don't care. And they look at this and they say it would be bad PR if they made the phone call because then it would be conceding that his policies were responsible. But how about this? Screw the bad PR. Just do what's right for not just this family, but for the entire county, for the entire community. These policies are killing people. And I don't know why we have to talk about this every single day for George Gascon to maybe just wake up, unless he's just a blind ideologue. And when you have blind ideologues, they don't necessarily see the damage they're doing. The money to put you in office requires that you do what the guy who gave it to you wanted you to do. George Soros' yeah. vision. Reimagine policing. Yeah, I mean, that, that $40 million didn't go to their silence. He expects those liberal DAs to jump through the hoops that, that he's paying them to do to get into office. Yeah. Uh, the recall, again, signatures reached against Gascon. We will monitor it and tell everybody what happens next. Jason Rance, thank you.